Hi everyone, just a brief overview of where we are in the semester. Um, as you can see, we're finishing Unit 3. This week you're working on a discussion board with your final reflection on the 24th. Then you will have approximately one week to work on your projects and get them ready to post in the discussion boards. We'll look at the extra credit in a little bit, but as you can see on May 3rd, you post your project in the discussion board and remember you're going to post your project in a very short paper that explains to your peers why you chose what you did. Then from the 5th to the 8th, you're going to review everybody's uh, presentations that are in your group. Uh, you've, as you see, you submit them on the 3rd to the discussion board, but you should not start watching them into the 5th. That gives me one day to go in to see if everybody's project is working like it should. Then on the 8th, you submit yourself in peer reviews. We'll look at where you do that. <clears throat> By the 10th, you post questions to four people in your group. By the 15th, you must answer the questions that were posed to you. And in the last two days of the semester, you'll be submitting your final reflection. So let me open Unit 4 just so we can look at it. I've added an extra credit assignment in this unit. This is to see if you can apply what we're learning to the real world. So you're to find a, an article a podcast, something that is used that everybody in the world can see or everybody in the country can see. And I want you to summarize it in a very brief paragraph, and I want you to try to apply it to social determinants of health. If you use a peer-reviewed article for this, you will receive a zero because I want you to look at real-world, real-life articles, podcasts, videos, YouTube videos, whatever, and then I want you to try to apply it. Here is a recording of your final project description. Here, um, you do not submit your presentation project here. This is just to tell you what you need. Um, here are the specific guidelines. Here is the scoring tool you use for yourself and for your peers. And here is the final projects tool that I use to score you. And then you will submit your peer and self-evaluations at this location. <clears throat> and then your final reflection um, is will open on the 17th of May, and it's about the course in general and what you've learned. So that's Unit 4. What I'd like to do is open up a different window and go to the discussion board. Your discussion boards the entire semester, you have not been able to see anybody else's posts until you post. These discussion boards are different you can see other people's material before you post your own. And the reason I do that is if you would like to look at other people's presentations in groups other than your own, then you can go into the other groups. So for example, if nobody in your group did al Alzheimer's disease and you really were interested in it, you could go into one of the other groups, find that project and look at it. So that's what this is. These are the dates again. So we have Discussion board four for group one, group two, and group three. Remember that you to post in the correct place so your peers in your group have been reading about your project all semester. They can actually look at the final project. And I do invite you to look at other people's projects. So as we're getting to the point of you're getting ready to post your projects and look at each other's work that you've been doing all semester, please keep in mind if you have any questions, to contact me and um, we'll try to straighten out any questions you have. Continue to work hard. Your work's looking good. I'm getting more and more excited about your projects every time you submit something. And I hope you enjoy the final weeks of the semester. Bye-bye.